So it is Monday morning, uh, it has been raining all weekend, so the river are all way too full to cross. Thanks for us, we have another road to go around the mountain to go to Orland, but the road is way too crazy, so now it's raining again, so I'm quite stuck because this road, I don't want to drive this road under the rain, so I'm waiting for the, road and for the rain to stop, but for sure today, no work. And we'll see if the sun show is now, then maybe to tomorrow we can resume, because for now, as you can see, uh, there's nothing we can do under this, under this weather. It's a mess, it's a mud mess. Uh, voilà. So, yeah, when you in Costa Rica, you can't do much. You have just to wait and sit tight. As you can see the river is still really too high so thanks god we have another road to go to the land because today i need to carry on walking uh, but the road is really really crazy so it's really really hard but at least i can reach the land if i need to well, today i think i need to do so let's show you the road Started, so now I need to put my poncho on. It's like rainy season, guys. This is tough, tough, tough. Voila. So the team has managed to resume the work on the land, but as you can see, unfortunately, most of our oil are filled with water and mud. So need to clean this mud patch before pour pouring ingredients on. I can have a, a put up a, a gallon. So we are using what we can. Remove the bone, bone, boo. Team A has resumed concrete, which is a good thing after cleaning. It's gonna be a bit uh, muddy concrete, but um, 
Yeah, but me, I'm still on uh, emptying whole GT. I have another one to empty. Oh, it's like, at least now I know how to make a pool. Once again, a disaster. We thought we could like manage to get through with a little bit of work, but the rain came back on us again. So it's pouring again. It's, it's a total disaster. Yeah, stuck in the container again, and I don't know if I will be able to go home. And that will see. This guy, my machine, they just continue with the rain. And me, I'm like, no, I'm done. It's like rain. It's cold. It's like pouring. It's like, man. It's not that as bad as yesterday, but... Walking, walking in the mud is the most exhausting things to do. The rain, the sound... Wow, I will remember this pilot for sure. Team A is still working under the rain. I don't know how they do that, so I'm gonna try to help a bit. Because I can't stay in the container, I watch them working, so... Look at that, it's a fucking disaster. the rain has temporarily stopped it's a disaster i spent my morning emptying the whole of water well <laughs> well while the other the team a was pouring concrete so it was water against concrete thanks god concrete win so now uh, all the pillar for the container and the platform has the base and afternoon i think we're gonna build um, the case the wood case to go around the pillar to pour concrete and to get our Pillar up and running, so if the rain doesn't hit, we may have all our boxes uh, made soon. And voila, but yeah, that's that's a disaster. But uh, yeah, we have no choice, we carry on. So I guess that's what uh, that's, that's what it's like to build during rainy season, you have to deal with the element. But yeah, and dry soon, I guess you're gonna deal with the heat. So I guess every season has its advantages and drawbacks. <laughs> before we finished to pull all the bays and now we are building the boxes to pour the concrete in the pillar uh, and voila I think we're gonna finish to build the box today and tomorrow we're gonna probably put the box stop pouring the concrete and while it's drawing start the other six pilots down there uh, which means digging and voila and hopefully they will don't have rain but you know I think a lot of rain still coming this week, so yeah, dry season is not here yet. Then I have to come home, but I don't want to go all the way to the crazy road tonight, so I'm going to try to cross the river, which apparently is still high, so we'll see if I manage to go home tonight, which is the big question. So the river was definitely way too high to cross, so we have to carry the bike, but yeah. Okay, so uh, next day I made it back to the land with Torti. We managed to cross the river. It was limit, but we made it. Uh, and this morning we managed to pour two poles of concrete, but the rain came again, as you can see. It's like disaster, disaster again, of course, but now like, I feel like I'm just getting used to the mud and the disaster. So I'm like, okay, it's raining. Okay. And I know like you just move slower, but you move forward. So. Now we're gonna try to pull and activate the last 
big pole. Okay, we managed to pull the biggest piloty so far. That's a lot of concrete. Like a lot of buckets to strong like a ball. So, so now we have one, two, three. Now we're building another case. I'm still like emptying the water from the other one. And voila, but we are short in wood. So we're gonna probably do this one, this one, and the other one. And when they dry, remove the wood. They remove the wood and reuse it for putting there and pull the three last. And after we're gonna have to start digging the other hole. And so the rain has stopped. Let us a little bit, but you can see this grayness. It's never a good sign. So but at least the two biggest pillars for the container are done, which is amazing. Oh. <laughs> so we're still dealing with the mud. Mmm, mad. So, I'm starting to really enjoy the mud actually. It's kind of... I don't know what you think. I don't know if you like mud or not, but... I think I have no, no other choice than liking it. See? It's like, mmm. Ah! Ah, oh, dear God. Oh, so. And we are pouring the concrete in the middle of that. So every time we have to pour, every time we have to pour concrete, we have to take this in the, in the bucket and cross the mud field. <coughs> which is extra adding some difficulty, but uh, there is this little pass. So yeah, voila. So let's pour more concrete. I think that Rusty also is enjoying the mud. And Rusty, you enjoying the mud? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Good boy. Good, so we have four of four container corners. One, two, three, four. So technically we could put the container on, which is a good news. But uh, and yeah, the water is not coming back, so... Look at that. This is where the wheelbarrow has to go through. Yeah, 4x4 four four wheelbarrow. Rusty is on a mission. Oh, Rusty. Dig, dig, dig. End of the day, the rain is coming, chasing us away, even if the, I don't think it's a heavy one, but the rain again. everybody wow it's been five days since i've been on this land and i have missed out on so much um due to all the rain and everything there was only we could only get to this piece of land on by motorbike and by going on the motorbike as you could see in previously it was a nightmare so it's not safe to have two people on the motorbike plus the dog so I've been staying at home for the last five days working on some of the architectural plans and making sure everything is sorted and JB has been here helping the guys but 
big things have happened. We can now see our pillars, which is so exciting. I'm so excited to like know that we're going to be able to put this container on there. So, and they look sturdy. Those pillows are not going anywhere. The rain the last few days have been nuts, and we thought the rain was over, but obviously isn't. And October rain has actually hit us in November. So we wouldn't have organized this if it wasn't, if we knew that it was going to be such bad rain, um, but we just have to move forward. And at least we've got a few pillars and they look very sturdy. And I'm really happy that the previous rain didn't mess up the footers that we had. So for. Rusty has his new favorite toy. His name is Dino. Rusty, what you've got there? Huh? What you've got? Are you kidding dinosaur? Yeah? Are you kidding, dinosaur? <laughs> Happy to say we finally have a coffee machine on our land. We, it's been a long time coming. I don't know why we've taken so long to get to this stage, but oh man, it's awesome. I want to say a big thank you to Stacy for our really cool mugs. She dropped them off the last time she was here and um, yeah, we're very happy with them. They keep it nice and warm and so we're very happy to have coffee on the, on the land, good mugs, and we can do as much work as we need to. I am gonna go and start digging some holes while the guys are finishing with the pillars. Um, being a little bit useless today, so <laughs> I, need to and, I need to go and pull my weight. It goes all the way down there, all the way up here. Yeah, this one oh. is my size. That's like two and a half meters? Uh, no, that's two meters, I think. Two meters. Two meters from there with the footer included. But that's a big one. It's so pretty. I never thought a pillow could be so beautiful. What do you think of our new shower, guys? <laughs> very good. And we have a lot of pressure, which is awesome. where in Costa Rica. <laughs> Look at that nose, Rusty. Look at that dirty nose already. It's been 20 minutes. Hey? It's <laughs> the symmetry of the wood barrel. <laughs> now we have to try to go take the other line to go more on the left. You have literally the biggest concrete. I need to clean that. Yeah. Where? It's along here. Oh, I need to clean that. I'm it's dry. a really big one.
next thing on the agenda is rebar time for the bodega section. I love working on the rebar, it's so much fun. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and start doing that. And then it's lunch time and then we'll carry on. Rusty, always under the workbench. Very cool. When, when there's no rent and go where, it's way easier. Oh. <laughs> so, no, good, good, better. Better than being out of the week, which was awful. Disaster, and now it's getting like, okay. Feeling good. Ready for day tomorrow. Yeah, it's finished the week. Yes. Good morning everybody, it's Friday and we are going to be doing the footers, so some concrete pouring, we did all the rebar and the structure yesterday, so they're going to be doing footers. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we lost you last week. Yeah, with once again the rain chased us away from the walking site, so we had to run away <laughs> once again. What we did do though is we filled up the footer so that we wouldn't have any water sitting in that area anymore, and then we ran away. And now it's a new week. So we're a bit more than halfway. Still have few pilotis to finish, concrete to pour, metal plate to assemble, and now uh, we're starting to anticipate the next phase. So, yeah. Do we still do a container house? Mm. Mm -hmm. Because apparently the pillars we have created could have like a three story house on them. <laughs> yeah, apparently they're pretty big, so we'll see. Maybe we're gonna create a mansion. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us below in the comment section if you think we should have a normal house or a container house. That's the question. Tell us. Please don't make me change my mind again. <laughs> but on that... We'll see you guys next week. Yes. Bye. Bye.